Hello and welcome back to another episode of Oasis Top Tips. Did you know that Oasis Primer, T3Plot, T-His and Reporter can remember recently opened files, which can save you time spent searching for them? Today I'm going to show you the recent files option we have built into Primer, T3Plot, T-His and Reporter. The recent files option is basically a way of allowing you to open up any files that you've recently used in either of these software so that you don't have to spend as much time hunting them down in the various directories where they're located. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to start from the shell and I'm going to just open up all the software and show you the functionality. So to start with, we'll open up Primer. And once it's open, we'll have the read option set. And we can simply just click on the drop down here and it presents us with a view of any of the recent files that we've used. And we could simply click on one, apply, and it'd be loaded into the session. You can immediately see how this saves you a lot of time hunting down any files because they're all visible here. This will work for any of the drop downs for the file types that are accepted. But of course, if you've not read in a particular file type before, then there won't be any recent files there. Now, before we move on to looking at the other software, I'm just going to go to the options and then edit the preferences. And I'm going to show you some of the options that we can set that control the recent files dropdown. So these actually apply to all the software we have. So if we go to all programs and then we scroll down to recent files, we can see three options available. The first one is on by default, and this is essentially a way of turning on and off that functionality. So that pop-up arrow will disappear when we turn that off. The next option controls the number of items that appear in the list. So we have up to 50 that could be shown, or a minimum of one. And the default is 10. So if we look here, we can see that we have 10 options showing. And then lastly, we also have the option of controlling the number of characters that will be displayed on the Recent Files button. So at the moment, we have 50 characters, and that's probably more than enough in, in most cases to tell what we're looking at, but we could change that number, simply click on the active, and then let's say we change this number to 100, and then Smith, and save those preferences. Then those will apply the next time we open up the software. Okay, so now let's have a look at D3Plot. It's very similar in D3Plot, but this time we have the file name appearing in a pop-up window, and we simply click on the drop-down and can select which one we want. That model will be loaded in, along with any preference files that we've set for it. We could go to File Open again, and then we could read in another file if we wanted it to. And note that this option also works for the template files, so the drop down appears next to the File Explorer, or we could paste in or select a different file if we wanted to. Next, I'll show you T-His. So similar to Primer, the read options appear on the right hand pane, and the recent files drop down appears at the end of the file name text box. So we can select one of those and read them in and then click on apply. The drop down also applies to some of the other options. So let's say we were reading in CSV data, that would appear here or any keywords or perhaps even ISO files. So lastly, let's have a look at reporter. Now the recent files option in reporter is a bit different to the other software we've looked at. And you might be already be fairly familiar with it if you've used Reporter at all. So it appears on the left hand pane here. If we want to clear the recent files option, we simply click on the button here. Or if we want to open up a recent file, we simply double click on it and it will appear. So that was just a brief overview of the recent files functionality in Oasis, how you can use it in all of our software in order to save you time, and also how you can control the preferences of the recent files dropdown. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next Oasis Top Tip.